Uh, I'm Adam and uh, I work at uh, Oracle, um, mainly contributing to boost geometry. Uh, and I would like to um, basically show you uh, a bunch of examples and uh, show that uh, it's easy to do ge ge geographic stuff or ge geometrical stuff actually um, in C++ with uh, boost geometry. So first I'll, um, I'll talk a little bit about uh, the, the library then show the, the simple example and uh, um, actually uh, during the whole talk there will be uh, Many examples uh, showing you how to how to create primitives, uh, use various algorithms and spatial index. And then at the end, uh, I'll show you a few uh, tools for developers, uh, simplifying debugging. So it's uh, boost geometry is a is a part of uh, boost C++ libraries. It's mostly written in uh, C++03, but uh, has uh, con conditionally enabled features if uh, compilers allows it. And uh, it have heavily relies on uh, metaprogramming and techniques such as stack dispatching. So it defines uh, um, primitives, um, also implements uh, them for user's convenience and uh, uh, algorithms uh, which can be used by, by the users. And it's, uh, the purpose is to be uh, OGC um, standard conformant. And there is also an implementation of uh, mm, special index. Um, yeah, some of some of the links uh, they are also on the presentation, uh, the the yeah the talk page. So so no no need to uh, to write them. Um, yeah, here is the simple hello world uh, example. Mm. Yeah, since, since it's uh, Hello World and not Hello Plane, I, I will need uh, geographical points. Um, here you can see that uh, yeah, we need some uh, some includes. Then uh, point type is uh, is defined. Um, I'm using uh, point uh, template defined in boost geometry here, and then I'm calling the distance function uh, passing two points. One is my home uh, city, which in Poland, and the other one is Brussels. And what I get is um, the distance. Uh, it's different than the, the distance um, displayed at the Google Maps, because uh, here uh, we are car uh, actually using uh, the spheroid model and Google uses uh, the sphere. Mm. These are the, the primitives uh, that Boost Geometry supports. Uh, so basically, uh, mm, oh, basic primitives that are defined in the OGC standard, plus uh, the bounding box, which uh, in Boost Geometry is a separate primitive. And uh, here, uh, here is how, how it looks like in the code. Mm, so basically, um, Metadata like uh, the dimensionality of geometries and the coordinate systems are defined uh, in the point type, and then this information is propagated uh, into the um, more complex geometries that are uh, using this point type. So here I'm defining uh, point, line string, polygon, and multi polygon. Uh, in a way that uh, a light string is a range of points, uh, polygon is uh, mm, contains an uh, exterior ring and uh, some number of interior rings also containing points, and a multi polygon contains uh, uh, is, is a range of polygons. And here I uh, create um, the objects, uh, so the rep representations of uh, line string, polygon, and multi polygon fill it with data and uh, display some distances um, between line string and polygon and line string and multi polygon. This is done in Cartesian as you can see uh, at the top right corner. Um, and this is how it looks like. 
right? The distance between line string and polygon and multiplying are, are the same. Uh, it's also possible to use your own uh, implementations of primitives. Uh, here I uh, define uh, my point, um, implementing a point primitive. Uh, register it using um, uh, register macros provided by the library, which works in uh, most typical scenarios. Um, they basically, well, technically speaking, adapt the my point type to uh, one of the um, to the point concept uh, defined by boost geometry. So the first the, the first macro adapts my point to uh, to the point concept, and uh, the second macro uh, adapts vector of points to a line string concept. So I can use vector for points as line string. And then again, I'm creating a point. Uh, I'm creating a vector of points, which is now uh, mm, treated uh, as a line string by the library. And uh, again, I'm calculating some distance. Oh. So yeah, the distance is the same. Um, yeah, Boost, Boost library um, um, has many algorithms. I, I group them here by the um, the number of uh, of inputs and the, the kind of output. So the area length parameter takes one geometry and returns some value. Um, crosses well, the relational operations and distance takes two geometries and uh, either returns boolean. Uh, value or, or a distance value, and centroid, convex are uh, algorithms which takes one geometry and creates another geometry from it, um, and set operations take two geometries and uh, perform set operations, so uh, returning uh, the third geometry. Um, yeah, uh, very similar to, to the, um, the last example, the difference is that uh, I'm calling different algorithms, so length, area, and perimeter. Uh, the length, yes. Um, certain algorithms are able to take certain types of geometries. So the length is able to take linear geometries, and area and perimeter um, can only take uh, aerial geometries. And here, yeah, line string in, uh, is passed to the length, and um, polygon uh, is passed to the area and perimeter. And also we get some result. I don't know how many, ten minutes. Mm, the rest of the examples is very similar. Here, uh, relational operations. Mm, I'm checking the intersection of uh, a line string and and uh, line strings and polygon. Mm, actually, this is probably not. Yeah, the example is not correct. Sorry. Uh, actually, what I uh, the, the result shows um, the result of the these uh, relational operations of the first light string and uh, polygon, or the third light string, yeah, um, which which looks like this. So, light string intersects a polygon, and uh, you can see uh, DE nine uh, intersection matrix representation. Uh, in the the second uh, case, um, the next group of algorithms, uh, so um, algorithms generating uh, geometry from other geometry, like cent centroid envelope and convex hull. So in the first case, the centroid will be a point, and the envelope will be a box, and convex hull is a polygon. And I'm printing the WKT uh, representation of uh, all of those output geometries, which looks like this. Next algorithm, uh, a buffer. Um, as you can see here, uh, algorithm not only takes input and output geometries, but also additional uh, arguments. And in this case, uh, these are uh, the arguments uh, defining how the buffer should be calculated. So it will be a symmetric uh, buffer uh, of a line string, and the uh, the output geometry will be a multi-polygon. Yes, 
and it's uh, it's quite longer. <laughs> and uh, some set operations, that is intersection and symmetrical difference. Uh, the input geometries are polygons, and uh, the output has to be a multi polygon. So there are two multi polygons uh, in the output, and it looks like this. Mm. As for this uh, special index, it's uh, an implementation of R3. Actually, there are mm, three variants of R3. Um, the classic one with uh, linear split, quadratic split, and the R star tree. It also supports bulk loading. Um, yeah, and it has some C11 features like stateful allocators and move semantics and uh, allows you to use value type of mm, any kind. Um, yes, and, uh, in this example, mm, well, this is uh, the, the most common uh, thing that uh, probably can be done with special index. So what I want to do is to uh, create some containers, a con container of polygons, and then uh, prepare a special index uh, for uh, representing this, uh, these uh, polygons, then perform some spatial query, uh, getting uh, those polygons which intersect another query polygon. Uh, so here I will need a uh, point, polygon, and box types. Mm. And then uh, I would like to define an R3 uh, type. As you can see, in the tree, I'm storing a pair of a box and uh, ID of a polygon in my container. It's here. And I'm storing this value here in the tree. And the variant of the tree which will be built is the R star tree. So here the uh, container of polygons is created. Um, it's, a, it's a vector of polygons filled with data. Here, uh, here the R3 object is created, and then for each polygon, I'm storing a pair containing um, an envelope of a polygon and an ID. Um, as for the query, here's the query polygon filled with data. Uh, I'm returning its envelope, uh, expanding it a little bit with uh, written buffer function. And then performing the query, storing the result in a, in a vector of values. Then for each value uh, in the result, I'm printing first the WKT of a corresponding polygon. And then uh, if it intersects the original query polygon, um, the word intersects, otherwise uh, not intersects. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, two polygons has to be checked, and one of them intersects, and another one doesn't intersect the query polygon. Um, yes, and uh, for your disposals, there are, there are also um, some tools uh, which uh, should allow you to debug uh, the code more easily. First of them is uh, the graphical debugging extension for Visual C++. Uh, Studio in 2015, uh, which allows you to, mm, to debug the, the code uh, while seeing the, the graphical presentation in, 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 in runtime, right? or in debug time. Um, and uh, the other one is uh, our debugging helpers for Qt Creator, um, allowing you to easily see the, the contents of, uh, of geometries. And we have three minutes left, so we can uh, answer some questions, if you have one. Uh, yes. Um, Um, the only difference between, uh, um, well, as, as you can see here, well, as I said, um, 
the metadata like uh, um, coordinate system is contained in a point type, right? It's bound with point type. Here uh, you can see that geographic coordinate system, uh, the, the point will be using geographic coordinate system uh, and the units are degrees. Um, and here, on the other hand, the point is using Cartesian. Oh. So in order to use spherical uh, geometries, you only need to uh, put um, either BGCS spherical with uh, some units, ra radians or, or degrees, or spherical equatorial, which will be probably something which you would like more. Okay, if there are no questions, then thank you.